One of my favorite articles of all time is Teach Yourself Programming in 10 Years. I think it's by Peter Norvig, and I'll, I'll put the link below and whatever. But the whole, the whole synopsis of the article is to learn slower. And you know how you see all those like speed learning or speed reading or do do X in get fit in six weeks and all not. Like the 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 modern world loves speed, but speed is a marketing construct. If you I've been spending time on a farm recently, and if you go out into nature, nature has no concept of time. It does not care. It, everything just has its own pace. And so that's a real beautiful way if the modern world is is used to or love speed a real good way to differentiate yourself is to create your own timeline so to use your biology to go back to nature use your biology as a clock so if you're trying to learn something and now school does a terrible job of making this um, making learning feel like you have to learn this you have to learn this and it's not hard you're not doing it right and you need to be sweating on your brow and if you're not working hard you're not going to get that cookie that you you really want at the end of high school oh but you finished high school and then oh wait there's another cookie it's at the end of university oh you finished your undergraduate beautiful well we have another cookie for you if you just did some uh postgraduate studies some masters you'll get that beautiful cookie oh wait you finished your masters well now we have a phd for you just a little more a little more learning that you have to do and then you'll finally feel like you've you've learned something and so, I failed my first two years of university so I'm probably not the best one to talk about a concept like this but what I have noticed is that uh, every time I've learned something because I've had to learn it uh, as in I've been force fed it by some curriculum that's over fluffed because uh, especially in university these days they kind of have to pack a lot of coursework in that isn't usually 100% necessary, but you have to feel like, because you're paying so much, you have to feel like you're getting your money's worth. And that's why a lot of books these days, uh, 300 pages of fluff, around 10 pages of good stuff, what should have been just left as a blog post instead now is turned into a New York Times bestseller. And so, the argument, or my argument against like the speed reading, if something is, or speed learning, or whatever, doing something fast, is of course you have nature as your argument where nature doesn't really care about time. But if something is fun to learn, if something is fun to read, if I'm really enjoying a book, I don't want it to end. I don't want to speed it up. Have you ever been reading a, uh, a really good book and got to the last 10 chapters and or the last 10 pages and you've been prolonging it? You've been prolonging it because uh, you don't want it to finish. Maybe you just start reading one page a night. You've got up in the morning, you're excited. If you're learning something new, you're connecting the dots. I remember uh, learning to ride a bike as a child or learning almost anything as a child. You would, you would play. You wouldn't try to hurry things up. I don't remember trying to go or asking anyone, how long will it take for me to learn to ride a bike? And so I get a lot of questions like, how do I learn coding faster? How do I learn machine learning faster? And I can understand where uh, the questions are coming from because I too was used to be of that mindset. But what I've noticed is every time I try to rush something, as in try to learn something faster than, than what, it, what it could possibly be learned, it's caused a great amount of unhappiness, and maybe that's your style. Maybe you like that. That's your. There's a thousand ways to. The truth depends on how you look at it. If you're asking for the correct orientation of Orion's belt, it depends on where you're looking at it from. And so maybe that's that's your motivator. You like that that grind of of being unhappy unless you you sort of just put in the work, put in the effort. But that's not my style. My style is to. If something's worthwhile, I want to enjoy it. I want to take worthwhile learning. I want to enjoy the process of learning it because that is truly the funnest part, the, the connecting the dots. How good does it feel? Uh, the, the hundred times that you fall over when you're learning to ride a bike uh, is what makes that first ride so enjoyable, that, that adventure. So that's, that's what I live for when I'm learning or creating something is... I don't want to speed up the process. I want to magically stumble upon one of those moments where one dot joins to the other and it becomes this beautiful dance. So I'm making this video, it's gonna be called Learn Slower or something simple like that and I wanted to keep it simple. 
uh, and to, of course, highlight the, the article, Teach Yourself Programming in 10 Years, is what's the rush? If you are looking to, to do something worthwhile, use your biology as a clock. If something doesn't interest you, if something is not fun, well, maybe you should either move to something else or figure out a way to make it fun. So you don't have to adhere. The internet is such a beautiful place is that you don't have to adhere to the traditional uh, style of learning anymore. You can create your own path. You can make it whatever you want. Now, of course, if you do make it whatever you want, rest assured, if you have that freedom, you now also have the responsibility to take it upon yourself to follow that path or create that path. So, in essence, learn slower, have fun with it. Keep learning, keep creating, keep moving. I'll see you next time.